What's up, guys? Aronis here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. We're on day number four for the new Cursed City. So I do need to pop up here, get this key, one of the Cursed Keys, right? Or the Eclipse Keys, rather. And then I want to come back down this way. And then I have to get the Eclipse Key over here as well. So the goal would be to take the path over here since I started over this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I could go this way and face Dark Fae and potentially get absolutely destroyed by her. Who knows? Or I can go and get this Eclipse Key, which I'm probably going to do that instead. So I'll probably go for this right here. Actually, this is not directly connected to this boss. So that's one annoying part of that. However, I could also potentially go for the Remnants, but I think I'm just going to wait for the Remnants, to be honest. So... If you want to go for the remnants and you want to wait to get the third eclipse key, you could absolutely do that because whoop, something just happened. Hold on. Let me... All right, we're back. Had some technical difficulties there. Don't know what the heck happened to my screen there, but I guess it is what it is. We're back though. So yeah, so I think that what I'm going to do, I don't remember what I was talking about, to be honest. And because uh, I was trying to fix my OBS, there was something wrong with the OBS. So yeah, so anyways, let's get back into this. Let's just start. Let's go right to... This right here, I do want these mythical charms and the chaos ore. We need 10 stars awakened. Okay, so I guess we'll do this one star. We'll use her. Uh, we'll use my Zargala. We'll use her. And I guess we'll use her as well. See if we can auto this. Oh, haven't met the requirement. Dang, I need one more star. Hmm, does he have gear on by do I have gear on by Stoffis? I do, but he's not fully booked or fully geared rather. Let's see. Yeah, so he's missing gear. We need some accuracy, we need some speed, we need some damage. We'll just keep it the way it is. This is fine. Whatever. I don't care. It's just for the content, really, just to get through it. Let's throw him by Stoffis. Let's get this done. Here we go. All right. So that's going to be a problem is you're going to get stuck on some of these stages because of awakening levels. And I think for some people, it's going to take way longer than others. So for free to play players and low spenders, it's going to take a lot longer, especially for free to play players, unless you're really lucky because you need the ascensions or the blessings on specific champions. So I can foresee people having some issues when we get into the higher stages Maybe Soul Cross City, you're going to need crazy awakening levels. But for now, you know, I guess it is what it is. It's not a big deal, but I can definitely foresee people getting stuck. The waves are starting to get a little bit harder. Level 200 waves. I don't know why you can't zoom out more. I feel like I'm super zoomed in. I don't know if I like that, but I don't know if you guys notice it, but this is as far as I can zoom out. And yeah, you like can't zoom out or in really. I do notice like the aesthetics of the map itself too. It's like really cool that they add these little floating, um, like what are they? Floating skeletons? They're ghosts. One thing I will say though, as compared to other maps like for campaign and whatnot, these skeletons or these dead ghosts are walking around or flying around, whereas here they're just kind of floating in place. So having them walk through the city would be really, really cool. Like floating around the city would be nice rather than just floating in one spot. Just a, a random thing that I spotted as I was kind of going through and seeing this since these fights are pretty long. But in general, I would say the Cursed City definitely helps out any player in regards to if you're trying to get more resources, rewards, if you're trying to get progression a little bit faster. It will help. An extensive amount of player base but what i'm going to do i'm going to skip to the end because i mean you don't really need to watch these entire fights for these specific like quick mobs most people just want to see the bosses and that's it so what i'll do is i'll skip most of the mobs and then just focus on the boss all right not gonna lie i'm at the last wave here and delaja is super super annoying man she is super annoying um, especially when I'm weak hitting against her a lot with all the champs that I have specifically. Thank God for Mother Sabelle. She's kind of a huge star of this stage. But yeah, Delaja, wicked annoying. Also, Alika is very strong here. 
Of course, your Zargala can be very strong. However, you need to get her to rank 6, I feel like, and get her with as much damage as possible because she just keeps going down with a few hits. She's not doing too much for me. I mean, she's doing okay. She's just not doing as, as well as I would hope. And, I mean, we're coming down to the wire here. There's plenty of other options for champions. As long as you have a decent roster, you should be fine. But yeah, this I just wanted to note that, that this is a bit of a pain for this wave, and the waves are actually getting, in fact, much harder on day four here. So I'm going to go through this, and then I'll come back to you once I'm done with this. All right, we finally did it. It took six minutes and four seconds to beat this. Mother Sabelle with 228k heals. Rector Drath is one of the best healers in the game. 1.1 million in healing. Also a very, very good reviver. Zargala, 234k, 258k from Bystophis, and then Alika with 811,000. So Alika is super, super strong. If you have multiple of her built, then these waves will be pretty easy. But yeah, that was a that was definitely a challenging waves based content. So let's go on to the next one here. Um, we're gonna go to I guess we can get the remnants, right? And then go right here. Or I could go for the void superiors, which I really don't need to be honest right now. So maybe I'll do that instead. Maybe I'll go for the remnants and then go back down the other way. Do some damage, increase defense. I mean, this is all I've got. This is all I've got, man. Oh no, this isn't good. Oh crap. Defense-based champions only. I mean, this guy could be really good in Jizo. I don't think mine is built. No, he's not built. Basically, none of my champions are built. That's what it comes down to. Maybe I'll use Double Rosin. He's in my Faction Wars. I don't even think he's built, though. He is built. He's in a stun set. This Rosin's in a poison set. Speed set for some damage. I use him in Hydra for Ignatius. And then, of course, Skull is going to be strong, too, with the counterattack. So we'll just do this team here. I mean, Naya, White Dryad Naya is also a good champion as well. I do have her fully booked. I'm trying to get her to rank six and put her into a like hard or normal, um, potentially even brutal team for Hydra. Let's do this. Hopefully we can run right through this. No problem. Let's see how much harder this stage is going to be. Oh, Tons snap. I thought that this was going to be wicked easy. And no, it's not. It's not easy at all. Uh, wow. The waves are starting to get harder and harder as we progress. And it's mainly because... You're just not going to have a large assortment of champions. I don't think I have a reviver here. You know, this guy actually might be really strong. Prundar. He might actually be strong for these waves. Holy crap. I might have to build a Prundar. Defense and Doom Tower, which isn't going to help. But wow. Did not expect. Also, Grush the Mangler. I haven't built one, but I know he's strong as well. Decreasing attack and healing is going to be huge. So I might have to build a Grush. You should also build a Grush. Because you're going to need healing, and yeah, there's just not enough healing for my team. Or you're going to need some regen gear. Um, they're hitting pretty hard. They're hitting pretty hard. It's not easy at all. So yeah, I do recommend you got to build specific champs for healing or use really good regen and immortal gear. Um, but I'm thinking if you just have Grush rank 6, level 60, he's going to be a great asset to this waves. these waves here. Of course, if I maxed out these two champs, maybe they do okay. The issue is, she doesn't really heal at all. Yeah, it's only when she's healed. I mean, it says whenever she's healed, heals each ally except this champion by 20% of that heal. But I don't have anybody healing, so it doesn't really help. So I would definitely have to bring in Grush the Mangler. Unfortunately, I just never built mine. I never had to. And yeah, now I'm thinking of building him. Let's see. Maybe I can go. Maybe I can go somewhere else instead of there. I might have to go to a different location, which stinks. So that means I'll have to go here to D12 instead. I mean, this is D16. Huh. Yeah, let's go to D12. Yeah, I can just use my Samson. This is gonna be a much easier wave based content because of my Sammy. Let's do this. We'll probably be able to full auto i would assume with samsung on here let's see yeah yeah this this samsung can just take this out on his own he's just so powerful i mean he's just a beast 
let's see what can happen. And then, of course, Jareg's insane. I don't even need anybody else. Sammy's, like, the only one I really needed, but fine. Samson's going to come back around to his big ability. We're going to wipe him out in a sec. Okay, here we go. Boom. Okay, pretty much half of them are dead. There goes Sil. Yeah, we're good to go on this one. Samson is a freaking monster. All right, last one. Let's go ahead and take him out. Oh, look at Samson's going against me. Luckily, we uh, provoked everybody. Thank God. There goes Uko. And big hit. There we go. Wipe him out. Nice. 15 more of the superiors. And now we can go on to the bosses. All right, so for the boss, Bommel and Ice Golem. So I'm definitely going to bring in my fully ally attack, speed, resistance, and triple hits. Yeah, I think this will work. I could, because honestly, Oella should have enough healing. Hopefully we don't die. And I think I should be fine. Let's just try it out on auto and see what happens. I know Bommel's going to be difficult, but I don't think I have anybody that's going to reduce their speed or turn meter. Well, actually, yes. It would be my Foley. But maybe we can just take him out. Who knows? So there it goes. My Oella, which is huge with the resistance increase. And the heals are amazing from her. So I think we'll be fine with Oella's heals. The issue is going to be the bombs, the dread bombs. Why is he attacking a dread bomb, dude? What the heck? The AI is terrible. Holy crap. Let's just manual it so we don't mess this up. I don't know why he was doing that. Okay, let's just take out Bommel first. Increase attack. Okay. Decrease speed. Speed ourselves up. Smash him. And we should be good with him. All right, there goes Bommel. Now we're good to go. All right. I have no idea. Wait, why are they still attacking the Dread Bombs? Oh my god. The AI is hor it's horrible. <laughs> Watch out for the terrible AI. All right, we should be fine, though. We got a Reviver in Elva. He keeps slamming, but it's no big deal. I've already taken out the side minions, so he doesn't do nearly as much damage. I will say, in the later stages, that's going to be tough, though, if he keeps slamming like that. All right, he's dead. We're, we're good to go. All right, we cleared 25 stages. I'm going to get my hands on some candles. Be something good. Not really great. Mm, also not that great. There we go. That's a good one. Merciless. This is a very good piece. I'm looking for Merciless, honestly. Attack and crit damage is okay. Not the best. Speed and crit rate and defense. This is good for like a support-based nuker, potentially. HP, speed, merciless. I'll probably try to do a reroll if I if I can get that um, chaos ore that's mythical. So we got our second eclipse key, which is nice. Not gonna lie. So that was actually really easy to me, um, but to others this is gonna be very challenging. You could bring in a kale, honestly. Just bring in as much poisons as you can, and try to put them in really low damage. You could also bring in an apothecary to help heal up, right? You can also, excuse me, you can also bring in, I mean, Truath, if you have him, really good protection as well. He's a big option. Old but gold Tyrell landing the decreased defense. I wouldn't use this ability on the Bommel boss, but decreased attack and decreased defense is very strong. Of course, if you have Mishinaki, you can use him too with decreased attack, decreased defense. You can do uh, max HP with Royal Guard. However, you definitely want to kill those side minions and block revive them first. But yeah, there's definitely quite a few options you can use. Toragi would actually be massive against these bosses. 
placing the ally protection shields deflect damage um, also with a decreased attack and poisons every single time he's attacked basically 50 percent chance so yeah there's definitely multiple ways you can beat those bosses now in terms of where i want to go next so i think i might go this way but i might end up getting stuck it's possible that I need to go into the Cursed Soul Cross and then over to Plague Home because clearly I can't even get past, which one was it? D16 for the waves. So I might need to either go this way and go down and then go around this chick right here because she's going to be super difficult, the Stranix. So I could go around this way, which would take a few days, or maybe two days, maybe three days. Or I could try to go this way, face a Stranix, or go around a Stranix, face the, the spider, and go around this way too. So it would be how many spots? So it would be one, two, three. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17. So that would be about three days total, including tonight, right? Including today that I'm playing this video for you or showcase for you. Or I could go through a Stranix. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it would literally be two days today, tomorrow, and I'd have the next key. So I might do that. I might do that now so that way I can at least try you know the one that will be tough is going to be this one p23 for the awaken stage this one's going to be tough for level 200 mobs but I do have pretty strong champions so I think I'll be fine against this p23 so that's what we'll do then I think we're going to do that I was thinking of going this way but I've changed my mind because these are going to be strong this is going to be difficult. Iron Twins is going to be super, super hard. I don't know if I'll be able to do Iron Twins. I mean, Oella is going to come in really strong here. But if you need 400 accuracy, 500 accuracy, it's going to be really difficult. And there's no use of Geomancer. Uh, Runekeeper Dazderk is definitely huge here. He's got great healing. Continuous heals. Alongside Oella, maybe I could do well. And Emic and her with a bunch of supports. But I need damage. So is there HP burn? Surprisingly enough, some people could use Jotun with HP burn. Four turn HP burn. So you might want to utilize Jotun. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be building so many new champions because of this content. It's insane. So Jotun's going to be coming in hot over there. Um, yeah, we're just going to go this way, though, to get the key. So what we'll do is we're going to go this way. Um, bring in some damage. Skull crown. Who else could I use? I'll use damage here as well. Let's do it. This should be an easier wave. Yeah, level 100. This would be super easy, actually. I think I could have just soloed it with my, <laughs> my skull crown. Uh, this was actually way easier than expected. Yeah, that's an easy one. Weaker rewards because we're in cobble market. All right, so Bommel. Bommel's going to be tough. Um I think I can bring him, bring in poisons. Of course, I have her. But do I want more poisons? Yes. So poisons. Well, I could try to nuke him down with just my cold hearts too, but I think I'm just going to go poisons. Poisons. And, oh yeah, there he is. You can use Grunch Killjoy for bombs. Is he built? 263 accuracy. I don't know if it's going to land, though. So I think you need like 300 plus accuracy. Maybe I could just do this. And then he can hopefully use his bombs. He's a little bit slow, I will say. But let's try it with bombs. Maybe it works. I doubt it, but we'll, we'll try it. Actually, you know what? Nah, I'm not even going to use it. I'm going to use Kale. Kale's going to be better, to be honest. He's not built, though. Again, 
All my champs, half of them are not built. He was in a lethal set. Accuracy double. There we go. 300 accuracy, 133 speed. He's running really slow, but let's see if we can do some damage here. I think we could. Let's try it out. Let's just go full auto, huh? Can we do it? Let's see. Bommel, I mean, I do have some strong champs. Mithrala, you know, I got poisons. So, let's see how it goes. Dang, he's dropping so many dread bombs. Who's decreasing his turn meter? Is that this chick right here? I think she's doing it. This chunky monk right here. Yeah, we might die from all these bombs. Holy crap. Maybe not. They actually don't do as much damage as I expected. Maybe we survive. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, she's... She's, I think Gerda Bogbrew is decreasing turn meter. Is that what she's doing? Whenever an enemy receives a buff, decreases turn meter. Okay, yep, yep, I didn't realize that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we don't want that. We definitely don't want that. Yeah, that was weird. Okay. I didn't realize that. Okay, so don't use, don't use Gerda. Do not use her at all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use decreased defense, weaken with Lydia and some shields. I'm like wondering, I'm like, why does she keep losing turn meter? What's going on here? Or why does Bommel keep losing turn meter? We're good here. Yeah, we're good. This is a lot faster right here already. Okay, he's going to be done. Let's get a smack in there, Kale. Come on. Come on, Kale. Hit, a, hit him with a smack. Uh, 30,000, <laughs> not as much as I expected. Still doing more damage, I feel like, than most, other than Mithrala with all the poisons. That's how most of the damage is going to come through. Kale's going to die with all the bombs, though, in a second here. Boom, he's dead. He can get revived, but I don't think it really matters. 45 seconds, 50 seconds. Not too bad. All right, good job. Nice job, team. GG's. All right, so boots, not good. Speed, resistance, HP, it's okay. Not really good. And this one's okay, but it's it's just a mixed bag here. There's no speed. It's attack and defense rather than crit rate or crit dam uh crit rate or speed. But this could potentially roll well if it triples crit damage or triples attack. So we'll keep that stuff for now. Alright, we're on to the next one. Bomber wasn't as hard as I expected it to be should be easy um again it's all level 100s i can just use samson go right through it no problem boom dead next up get wrecked extra turn wrecked like, ah man samson is just so strong look at this man just demolishing in 11 seconds let's go man this guy is so good let's go to the next one here uh let's see we've got I guess I could just do this. I mean, does she have gear? Again, it's all going to come down to gear. She's not going to hit super hard, but we got HP. We got ally attackers. We got damage. Um, Yeah, that should be good. Plenty of damage. This should be a breeze. Boom. Ah, oh, he's got the freaking block damage. That stinks. It's unfortunate she couldn't have done the block buffs earlier, but we did steal the buff, so that's good. Okay. Nice. 30 second run. Not too bad. Nice. Okay. Easy enough. Now we're over in Plague Home. Now we're focusing on this. So, yeah, we're going to try to just force ourselves through Dark Fae and see if we can beat her. Let's do this, this, this. I mean, again, eh, I could just use him still. It's all good. It's all good. We're good to go. It's easy. Ah, GG's. Oh, man, that's too easy with Samson. <clears throat> 
He did get feared, so he could miss a turn, but let's see. Okay. Stunned. Four hits from that dude. Okay. GG's. 26 seconds. Okay. Still wrecking it with Sammy. On this one, we can probably do it with Nishak, Reviver, Healer. Mainly just bombs. Honestly, I could do double husk. Not enough keys. Oh, no, we're done. Okay. Okay, we're done. All right, so we're good. I mean, we're pretty close to the third key already. I only need one more. One, two, three, four, five, six more spots here. Six more stages. And then we get this key as well. Is this one going to be that hard? Mm, no, not for me. For me, it's not going to be too hard. For others, it might be. Um, I do recommend... Just bring in as many damage dealers that do triple hits. Like, she does triple hit, double hit. Uh, we've got a Martyr, if you have Martyr, with counterattacks. Um, Ragash is huge. My Samsung's huge. Everybody should be able to bring in Wukong. He comes back to life so many times. Everybody should, well, most people should have a Newt um, if they did the fusion, which was, like, an, by far the best fusion I think we've ever received. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it though i will say it's not too hard still again i really truly think that people that have been playing for years they're not going to have too much of an issue because they're going to have a stacked roster but amius is definitely going to be insanely difficult and challenging and there's going to be plenty of content that's going to come out with different team compositions and how people beat them so yeah interested in finding out your thoughts what did you think hopefully you guys did good in the day four of the cursed city and if not then leave your thoughts and comments down below happy to help out happy to answer any questions you may have about the cursed city and what teams or champions you recommend or i recommend for you to build for the future content thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you on a video soon take care